This world ain't right, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate Gemini. Good morning. That's a little loud. Hold on. I can't believe you kiss your car tonight. <laughs> Oh, oh, you think you're special? Oh, oh, you think you're something else? Okay, so you got a car. That don't impress me much. Uh, uh, uh. So you got the moves, what have you? Got the touch. I don't know where that came from, Jim. <laughs> Girl, you're not impressed? I feel like you're not impressed. You're not impressed. I'm not impressed with you. Like, I don't know what I'm hearing. You're just not impressed. Maybe somebody said this to you and it's like, I don't know, maybe you. Okay, I feel like if you said it, it's like, <laughs> it's valid, okay? When somebody said it to you, it feels like they're eating their words. Woo, wow. Okay, so what do we got? That don't impress me much. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. I have. Taurus is all things tangible. Earth sign, okay? You could have Taurus in your chart somewhere, all right? You could have it in, well, we all have all placements, but you know, not all placements, but we all have all the signs in our chart, right? So Taurus is significant. This is about things that are tangible. This is also the ability to manifest Okay, Gemini, I don't know, I'm hearing you just are not impressed, though, with something. Okay, I'm going to get another one. Hold on one second. You're just not impressed with somebody here. I feel like this person, are you, like, you're very, I feel like you guys are, um, someone's challenging you. I'm getting someone, oh gosh, okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm hearing battle of minds, battle of wits, battle of minds, okay? Um, I know Taurus is like, I'm going to say Taurus is the body, right? Because Aries is the head. I don't know, I'm just like, oh my God. Hold on one second. Because I feel like this is somebody who is challenging you in a different aspect. And you're you're just very analytical. Well, you're not analytical. I mean, you're analytical, okay? But you are intellectual okay i feel like someone is using like their body and you're just like not impressed with this person okay you know what it's okay all right or there this could be you using your body you're like out of your element or something i don't know why i'm saying that like somebody is using their body and people are taking it the wrong way okay so we have psychic yeah like i don't know why i'm getting like someone is like i'm not impressed with you but there is so much more to you than meets the eye, Gemini. Because you are the mind. You could be having psychic attacks as well. You could be experiencing psychic attacks. I feel like people want you to be practical or come back to reality. I don't know why I'm getting that. You could have like Pisces in your chart, okay? To have Pisces and then to have Gemini both in your chart. I know I'm a Gemini rising and I'm a Pisces moon. So like to have those two in your chart, I feel like you're just very abstract in the way you think. You're methodical, but you're and you're very practical at the same time, but you're also very, very out. How do I say it like outwardly? Like um, like you imagine you could have a really strong imagination, and somebody is really wanting to bring you back down to earth. Yeah, with this Taurus card, I'm getting with your dreams need a practical plan. Someone is like not believing in your dreams here. But you're psychic. I feel like you know what's going to happen. You already know you have foreseen your future. And you're making or taking the steps necessary to make this dream happen. And someone is just like, that's never going to happen. 
they could be even saying, I'm not impressed with you. And it's like, dude, they may be thinking like you're delusional, but you, you know that you need to be delusional in order to make your dreams come true. You know, you need to be delusional. Like delusion is necessary. <laughs> so if somebody calls you delusional, Gemini, just take it as a compliment. Okay. Because they're fucking, they're minuscule the way they think. They can't see outside of the box. Yeah, this person, oh gosh. Okay, I feel like they're really good at manifesting, but they're practical, okay? And they're wanting you to implement practical skills to to uh, manifest in your life, but it's like, that doesn't work for you. Just like, you know, for certain signs, like certain things are just not gonna work for them that would work for other signs. Like, I feel like for you, Gemini, you are very analytical. You are verbal. I'm hearing like you talk, maybe someone thinks you talk a lot or something. They think you're just all talk. I don't know I'm hearing that, but it's like, dude, I feel like if you say you're going to do something, you always do it. Someone just doesn't believe in you, though. OK, and you know what? You don't have to believe you don't have to care if this person believes in you or not. Um, I feel like you are a full blown psychic. Um, Pisces, this is 12. Breaks down to number three. Like if you look, that is three. All right. Hold on. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Do you see? The three, okay? Yeah, this is like this is like a Pisces card. Like if you look, you could kind of see that those are two, those are two rings, but they're forming. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting like three of cups with this, but I'm also getting like uh, three of pentacles, okay? Like the number three is significant. You could be seeing three, 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 but the psychic, this, this, these ability, this Lila, this ability that you have um, is unseen, okay? You're the only one that knows what's going to happen. That is why it's so hard to believe in something. You know, Pisces is I believe. You, Pisces, are both twins. You could have twins in your chart, or you could have, I'm saying like you have twins in your chart, a lot of twin placements, All right? Pisces and Gemini. Imagine being a rising Gemini and a Pisces moon. Two sets of twins in your big three, like that's amazing, like right? That's so, that's so amazing and so rare, I think. I have not met too many people of the same placements as me but yeah like this 48 breaking down yeah this 48 breaks down to the number 12 also number three okay so um that is the 12th house which is hidden they hidden it's a hidden it's something that's hidden somebody oh my god because they can't see it they don't believe it's like when people say i don't believe in god you know but you know you feel god like you could feel it i know like you you guys are um in your own way, you're empathetic, okay? You probably hear things, to, you probably feel or hear things telepathically because you guys are mercurial ruled signs. So communication um, comes in different forms for you, especially because you're right on the like cusp. You're right next door to Cancer, okay? Yeah, you're between Cancer and Taurus. So like you guys have your foot, oh wow, and you're the twins. And you have one foot, yeah, you have one foot in the spiritual realm and you have one foot in the physical realm. So like for you, you can kind of see things here and there. You can see beyond the veil and, and it's like, you know what your future is. And someone is like trying to, I don't know why there's somebody, I don't like this person's energy because it feels like, I don't know, next full moon in Taurus, um, you may feel an energy shift. Okay. I don't know. You may feel an energy shift uh, specifically surrounding your um, physical like your um, financial sector, okay? Things that are tangible, okay? So like money, house, cars, right? Um, I'm seeing like a change come in. Um, this is from something you create. And I feel like somebody around you is like gonna be shocked, okay? And they don't have to be a Taurus. This could be anybody, but the energy is just very like, we're two, we're, two, we're two different people. We're two different minds. We don't think the same way. And you should, res I feel like everyone should just respect that. Like respect our differences, respect that we aren't, that we're not the same and we don't think the same and we do things differently because you know, what works for you might not work for them and what works for them might not work for you. That person needs to respect that, but I don't feel like this is someone who respects that, you know, maybe you respect them, you know, also like Gemini, I feel like you guys are no, you're know-it-alls. So like you guys know a lot. <laughs> You know a lot of shit, okay? And this person is irritated by that. I, I, oh my God. They're like, you need to be practical. That's never gonna happen. Oh God, I, I love when people say that will never happen for me or that I need to stop doing this or I need to stop doing that. It's like, dude, 
Like, oh my God, Gemini's always right. <laughs> because I feel like too, you may have like also helped this person or told this person about something and they like completely turned their nose up at it. They even like downplayed your gifts or they downplayed it, all right? They maybe even called it like stupid or something, not realizing who they were messing with. I feel like you didn't, you're not, you guys can be petty, but I didn't see, I don't see you being petty here. I feel like you know something and you're just like, okay, because you're the magician, you know? I feel like you guys are very, very magical, Gemini is you the witch. You're like you guys are the witches, all right. So like, but the psychic card is giving me like someone who's also a shapeshifter. You know, this this is also giving me like eighth house energy. I don't know eighth house and Piscean energy. So um, eighth house and twelfth house. You could have a Neptune eighth house. I'm a Neptune. I'm an eighth house Neptuner. I have Neptune in the eighth house. Oh yes, I do, boo boo. Okay. <laughs> And Pisces moon. So like I I get problem. I have dreams all the time. So you can have like a dream about something. Literally, I feel like you invented something. And oh my God, it's going to be like, I'm hearing $100 million. Someone's getting like $100 million at the minimum from whatever this is. It's like an app. <sighs> this is an app or something. Something that you designed. But it literally came to you in a dream. Oh my God, Gemini, it's so dope. I feel like this is some an idea maybe you shared with somebody a while back and they laughed at you. And now it's worth millions or it's gonna be worth millions and this person's gonna have to watch you like, wow, you didn't support me. <laughs> Remember when I asked you if you wanted to be like, you might've asked this person, hey, do you wanna partner with me? This person's like, uh, mm. they might've blew you off or ignored you. Yeah, they're like, it's an earth sign, you guys. It's an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting like, if it's a Virgo, they really do think they know everything, this person. But I feel like you already, like, for, you already foreseen all the prod, all the problems, okay, that comes whatever this is that you were designing. You already foreseen every little detail. You already looked and did all the work. And you're, you're going to make this work. Whatever it is, you're making it work. But this person, all they saw were problems, you know why they saw problems, Jen? Because they wanted to see those problems. They don't want shit to work out for you, you know? So, so sometimes it's unfortunate to hear this because I know like in my own life, I've experienced it a lot and it sucks when you find out people just don't want the best for you. And, 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 you, and you might find out in your own way, you know, like maybe they don't even say it, but it's the way they talk. Maybe they don't say it, but it's the way they say it. It's what they say or what they don't say. You know what I mean? Or it's the way they carry themselves or... It's how little you hear from them. I'm here even hearing like, you know, it's like really personal. Like if you win, it's really personal to this person. I don't know why I'm getting like, um, yeah, this person's like, oh, be practical. But you're like, but that's stupid. Like, why would I keep my feet on the ground? Like that doesn't like that's, you know, time and place. Understand. I understand that it's, you know, time and place is, you know. It's necessary to do that when it's a certain time and it's a certain place. But like when it comes to your dreams, man, sky's the limit. And I know this, like, you know this, Jim. You could be um, an artist. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like someone who um, writes music. Yeah, someone who is psychically inclined to write music. Um, they just, it just comes to them. Um, you you know how to freestyle. Like or you could be a beatboxer too. Somebody's a beatboxer. You know what I'm talking about? Like. When, you guys know what I mean? Okay, so like I feel like um, somebody's like so impressed with you, but they say they're not impressed. Now, like if you do like if you do like beatboxing or um, especially if you're like a female, the beatboxes, okay, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Someone's like I'm not impressed with you, but it's like they can't do it. You know, people always say that when they can't do something, you do, and then they're like something that they really like. They don't want to admit that they like it. Like I feel like this is someone who likes what you do, Jim. And they kind of wish they thought of it first, but they didn't. Also downplaying your abilities. Like if you're if you're psychic and if you do actually read, I'm hearing you read, like you, you may have a platform where you do readings or you're um, a healer. I'm seeing someone who reads palms. Yeah, like someone is downplaying your gift and saying, yeah, right. But you have all these positive reviews. Okay. Oh, you guys, it took my website down. Okay, because I'm not offering personal readings anymore. Um, it's just too, it's just too much going on in my life. So I'm not offering them at this time. 
So I took my, my website down. All right. Yeah, I've seen like you, yeah, you might have a lot of positive feedback on a platform or just a lot of positive comments and it's real noticeable. You know, it's real noticeable. People like you. Okay, they really like you, Gem. I mean, damn. I don't say this person is mad, but like, I feel like the energy is just very like, opposite from you the practical and then the the psychic card this is like practical psychic this you know psychic is very outer worldly right and this practical is like two different minds I mean, it's two different people right here two very different people and like one person is just like yeah come back to earth retard oh sorry can i even say that anymore someone is probably really mean to you i'm saying i'm saying abusive like i don't know why i'm getting like abusive like a bull you know your dreams need a practice. It sounds like, oh my God. It sounds very like mean girls, you know? Your dreams need a practical plan. And it's like, dreams are never practical. First of all, dreams are never practical, okay? I don't really like this card. I don't write, I don't know why I don't like this card, Full Moon and Taurus, because nothing is practical man anything that's amazing in this world anything that's ever been created or designed or invented is not practical think about it it's never been it's never anything in this world that's practical your app facebook instagram tiktok that shit is not practical is it it's it's amazing right it's addicting even people can't stop getting on there people can't stop watching it's not practical so this is like, I don't know why I'm getting like this man, people need to stay in their fucking lane because they can't see your, they can't see your vision, Jim, you're psychic. You know, something is going to happen in your life, something big. You're going to break all kinds of generational curses too. I feel like you're creating multi generational wealth. This is wealth that is going to withstand the test of time. You know, with this Taurus card, this is, I have, you know, something big is coming, coming and it's not through being practical. Though this person thinks, oh, you need to be like them. I feel like this person needs, wants you to be like them. And it's like, no, I'm a Gemini, man. Shit, Gemini got their head in the clouds. Like, Gemini is air. Hello, the magician, the throat chakra. Anything you speak, Gemini, too, becomes, becomes like, you can hold it in your fucking hand. Gemini, you're a genius. Okay, okay, I'm gonna leave it there, you guys, because like, I can't do long readings anymore, but... Gemini, I love you. You probably had the longest rating. Yep, you did. 1717, as I said that. Okay, look up the, the number 1717. I believe that is an angel number. You guys look that up, okay, because I just saw it. I love you so much, Gemini. Comment below what that means, actually. I would love for you guys to comment. I will pin your comment at the top. Um, whoever comments first with that 1717 um, meaning. All right, you guys, I love you so much. You guys have a wonderful, oh, check out your free personal readings. They are down below. They are the first three links. I hope you guys enjoy them. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.